this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Epiphone DR100. Okay, so as you can see, it performs actually pretty well. Um, it's got it's got a pretty good low end. Uh, it's not not the best in the world. Uh, the highs are, are good too. Um, when it's adjusted right, it actually plays really well. Uh, you don't have to press down too hard. Um, you can have reasonably low action. In fact, the way it comes set, it's you don't even really have to adjust. Uh, the bridge thing back here, if that's what it's called. <laughs> um, the truss rod will need adjusting out of the box though. Uh, it comes with an allen key to do that though, so if you just look at some stuff online you can figure out how to do that pretty easily. Um, but yeah, it plays really well, um, so I'll play some more things for you. Okay, so first up, up with the guitar, it's got uh, the back. So here's what it looks like. It's um, it actually looks really, really nice. It's got a spruce top, uh, a mahogany back. Um, it's got the book, book, not bookshelf. What am I saying? Um, I can't think. The, basically, where they've taken the piece of wood and put it in, split it in two. So you've got the same uh, pattern on each side of this line which is really cool. Um, and then the tuners, they're closed gear tuners. They're actually, they look really, really nice. Um, and they, they work well too. They don't really slip or anything. Uh, it actually stays in tune pretty well if you keep it in similar temperatures. Um, it's got this pick guard, which I, I don't know if I'm a fan of pick guards or not. I'm, I'm new to guitar, so this is kind of, I don't know if I like it or not, but uh, my one actually out of the box, uh, it started to peel up a little bit, so and the paint was still on underneath, so you could have probably just peeled it off, uh, but I stuck it, I just pressed it back down, it stuck down like permanently, so uh, if you want it off and it comes to you peeled up a little bit, you could probably just take it off, um, but I, I think it looks pretty good, so I left it on, and then um, the strings, they, they, they're pretty good. I mean, obviously, at some point you probably want to get better strings, uh, but, you know, the originals are pretty good. Um, it, has, it has a mount here and on the tail for, for a strap, um, which is nice. I, I'm just using this old strap that I had. And then it's got, it's got the dots on the front for the different frets. And then it also... Most guitars have this, but it has dots on the side for frets, which are probably more important than the ones on the top. So when you're looking at the guitar, you really don't see the front, you see the, uh, the side. Um, and then overall, it looks nice, it sounds good, and this is kind of the amazing part. It's only $100 if you get it off of Amazon. And for that price, there's, in my opinion, there's really nothing that could beat it. Um, I mean, it's the way it sounds, it's just amazing. Um, I mean, like, even compared to some uh, $500, $400 guitars that I've listened to, this just has, has a really good sound that I like. And that's, that's one of the most important things when you're pick, picking out a guitar, is that it sounds really good, the way you like it, and also that it feels really good. 
like this guitar is it doesn't really feel too small it doesn't feel too big I mean it's probably a little bit too big but it is comfortable to play and that's important you know you want it to sit in your leg good you don't want your arm to be like straining to get around you want it to to fit good you want to be able to reach everything good it doesn't have a cutaway that's the one thing so if you plan on playing uh, like high notes uh, down there it could be really difficult um, I mean you still can play them but not really very well so about to here is really uh, really where you're gonna be playing on it but that doesn't really bother me because for the most part I'm playing up here anyway so that's fine and the cutaway actually alters the sound a little bit so I think I'm kind of glad I don't have it um, so yeah I think that's about it um, it is a happy guitar I don't know if any of you guys have uh, noticed this but some guitars have a, a smiley face here and some have a frown <laughs> that's, that's one of the things I noticed with guitars happy guitars and sad guitars so um, yeah this is a happy guitar um, but yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, hope you like it. Um, and if you're in the market for a guitar, whether you're a professional who wants to get a cheap guitar, uh, they can take places and don't really care about it, or whether you're someone like me who is new to guitar and wants a really nice guitar for not that much money, uh, this is a great option because to tell you the truth, it really doesn't sound any worse than more expensive guitars. Um, it, it sounds different, um, but the sound is really good, and that's the thing with guitars. There's a lot of guitars that are just the same price, or maybe a little more expensive, or maybe cheaper than this, that I've I've seen, and they're just not they're not very good. Like combo guitars, for like a hundred bucks, and you get case and stuff. Those are probably something you should stick away from, uh, because they really don't sound all that good. But th this is really good. So if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.